Hey guys, it's Sequel45 with episode 8 of Let's Farm. I think it's episode 8. <laughs> It'll be in the title screen, so um, I'm just going to do, you know, say I YouTube as usual. Um, you know, I just like to, you know, do this just to shout out my clan. You know, everyone everyone deserves it. So as you can probably see, I'm the leader. Um, as you know, King is not the leader, I'm a co-leader. Thank you for saying hi, Raid Master. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to show you my defensive log. Um, oh, dang it, you saw my attack log. Ignore that. So, you know, I'm just showing you that I lost a lot of loot, and, you know, you get what I'm saying. So, you probably saw that I was leader of Fallen Elders. Um, the leader, leader King, um, which is a good friend of mine, um, he's just visiting the Fallen War Clan. He's just, you know, visiting for, like, a day. So, yeah, so here's our first attack. So, he promoted M M C Cole the leader while he's gone. Then, of course, I'll promote him back as soon as I get back, as soon as he comes back. So... I actually, excuse me, not again. Why do I keep doing these in videos? Okay, ignore that. Um, so here's our first attack. Um, we got some loot, so but it's embedded. So I actually am starting to bring lightning spells now. So I'm gonna first lightning spell that mortar to take it out, just to make my life a little bit easier. So what am I doing? So I'm gonna try to take out this wizard tower just to make my life easier. Um, it. I took it out. Now it's time to go get that loot. It was really difficult to get this, all this, re all these, all this loot, just because of how embedded in the base it is. I got as much as I could, but yeah, lately I've been finding some great loot at 1,800 trophies. It's, you know, been very, you know, very simple, very easy loot. Just you know, loot in these collectors, and the only thing is I'm just getting raided, as you can see. I just have a ton of gold on me. I have over three million actually. Um, just because I'm like my all my builders are busy and I really don't upgrade too expensive upgrades like my mate they're all under like 500,000 so far so that's why I build gold so fast so as you can see my I got my king in and you know he's gonna just go ham around the side um, I should I think I deployed his iron fist too late when I actually do deploy it um it's gonna try to get all this loot and then we're gonna go on the other side we're gonna see what we can get on the other side so, so far we're at 23%. Now, so I'm going to lightning spell that mortar. I'm really liking these lightning spells. And you're going to see in the end of this video how the lightning spells really came in handy. <laughs> You'll see. So I had to put the Iron Fist kind of too late. Didn't regenerate too much of his health. Well, like at the right time, I meant. Because he just got like killed two seconds after I deployed it with the king. So Clan chat's going crazy while I'm recording. My iPod died in the middle of a recording. So f I was so mad. <laughs> yeah, that was really annoying. But I hate when my iPod. I always forget to charge my iPod, and then it dies on me. <laughs> but I edited all that. I edited it all out. So as you can see, I'm just uh, you know deploying the rest of my barbs. What I should have done is, as you can see, my queen was getting locked on. I should have maybe to put all my barbarians then the queen because as you can see the queen is not really a tanky unit as you can see she's getting murdered by this archer tower and she does finally escape and when she turns back that's the end of the poor archer queen so we didn't lose the attack and we still got plenty of loot great attack I think 400 combined of each so here's our next attack um when I first saw this base when I actually attacked it I thought I was going to get a pretty good amount of loot, but I really didn't get too much of it. So, this is really a pretty bad attack. Um, I should have looked and seen that gold storage was pretty much full, so most of that loot wasn't going to be in those mines. I just executed this raid really badly. So that's why I'm playing one archers. I'm trying to align those archers across the over the dark elixir storage, because I'm trying to upgrade my queen. So as you can see, I lightning spelled them, and... I got the some of the clan, most of the clan castle, and I got um, some dark elixirs. So now it's time to just you know, you know, do the standard bark that I always do. Um, this raid was just really terrible, and these archers are gonna come out, and I don't even know how they survived the attack. I mean, I think it was just you know like the mortars. I mean, the mortars pelt your troops. I mean, I'm usually not too worried about the splash defenses, like just because um. Because usually our troops are fist fast because usually they fire on the barbs and by the time the barbs are dead then the Archers already got the loot And that's why I like barks so much better than all archers because I used to use all archers before I started YouTube and um I used to be able to get the loot 
but when I moved up to higher trophy count farming, like gold one, gold two area, um, you know, I used to farm at like silver one or gold three. Um, when I moved up, um, I couldn't one star, so I dropped trophies. But now I know how to one star very easily. So, pretty much, um, I know I have some troops I have to work on in the lab, but currently I'm just working pretty much on the newer buildings, trying to get all them up. Um, so, as you can see, this raid was pretty terrible. It was a fail, and yeah, nothing to raid about this raid. I just surrendered. Um, here's our uh, next attack in this video. Um, as you can see, look at this insane loot. As you can see, I'm getting some really nice finds, and, you know, right now, this is in a nice groove in farming, so as you can see, look at this dark elixir, free drills, I'll take that any day, um, so, um, I did edit out going into my attack log, because I am showing you the replays, as you can see, um, I edit it out now, just so you guys don't get spoiled to raid, just because I don't think you guys really want to, like, know what happens, and then, like, have a... I want I don't want you guys to have like an anticipation what the raid's gonna be like before the raid actually happens. Um, yeah, I just think you guys would like that, you know, to be surprised. I mean, obviously you're gonna be surprised because you never saw the raid, but if you get like you have like if you already get like like a few details like how many trophies you get, how much percentage you get, um, it kind of like spoils it in a way and. You don't want to, I don't want to spoil, you know, the raids for you guys, because I want you guys to, you know, see my attacks, of course, but, you know, see them, you know, know what, don't have any, like, prior knowledge before the attack started. The only way you would know is if you're in my clan, so I'm in a lightning spell, that dark elixir storage. Obviously, if I had, like, all my lightning spells, I would drop them, but I, you know, I'm, you know, barge takes under half an hour, so usually I have around one lightning spell, but, yeah, so we're at 45%. It's going to be an easy 50%. We're at 49%. My Archer Queen is going to... While well, being distracted by those Barbarians. That's why I love the Archer Queen. Clutches the easy 1 star. And I'll get out of there. So now we're going to be doing 2 live attacks. 1 for like Golden Elixir. Then 1 for Dark Elixir. So as you can see I have like 21,000 Dark. So let's get into this attack. So I was looking for Dark Elixir or Loot. So here's a great Loot Raid I just found. So... We're going to attack it, and we're going to get as much loot as possible. But obviously, this isn't enough Dark Elixir to get my Archer Queen, which is um, 22,500. I have like 21,800, I think. No, 700, but I'll get the drill in this attack. So my goal was to not use the heroes or the lightning spells. I didn't want to use them because if I found some you know, easy Dark Elixir, I could uh, just lightning spell the storage and then... Um, you know, get some easy dark elixir. So, I did edit out the searching. Um, I really hope you guys like it when I um, edit out the searching and stuff, just because um, I really, because I do try to, you know, cut out everything, and you know, I just want you guys to see the attacks and then see what I upgrade in the end of the video. So, um, I am upgrading pretty slowly, which is a little bit mad. I'm just because um, even in the beginning of Town Hall Nine, when you have all these new buildings you're upgrading. Like, in your building, even five builders, because I have five builders, even they aren't enough, because you're, like, s upgrading so much. It's ridiculous. Same on my uh, King of COC account. I just got to Town Hall 7 on his account. And, um, you know, it's easy. You know, well, I meant, like, the builder's always busy, but I only have three on that account. So, as you can see, I'm just trying to, you know, get some percentage points. Now I see these army camps are just, you know, free buildings. I'm going to deploy a few archers on that, uh on that uh, camp um, and then all we need is those two camps right there and we get the 50 percent so that was our goal and then you're gonna see I'm gonna do attack again and my goal in this attack the next attack was just to get some easy dark elixir so I'm think I'm so here I fast forward to it so I just see it and I'm gonna go hashtag lightning spells so I'm just gonna drop four lightning spells and it's just gonna get me enough um, no point of going for anything else, and that was just for Dark Elixir, and I got just enough Dark Elixir, so, really hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, and it's time to get my Archer Queen to level 2, so I hope you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon, peace.